close your eyes and come back to the breath. If you're already here, settle in. We're trying to develop a quality of persistence here, that we stick with it. Because it's the persistence that allows us to plow through things that have cluttered up the mind. Otherwise we run into something that pushes us away and we jump off to some place in the future, jump off to some place in the past, and don't get to see well, what's behind the thing that's pushing us away. Sometimes it's just plain boredom. Sometimes the mind is hiding something from itself. You're going to see through these things only if you're persistent. Persistence, of course, implies mindfulness. If you're not mindful, it's very easy to forget why you're here. You're off wandering someplace else. So keep remembering you're here because you want to see what's going on in the mind. And to see what's going on in the mind, you have to be very consistent. And your gaze has to be all around, looking at the breath and looking back at the mind, keeping your eye on both sides. Because sometimes the issues that keep you from staying in the present do come from the breath. They do come from the body or from things outside. But most often they come from things inside. So we focus on the breath because it's very close to the mind. So that when something happens in the mind, we can see clearly. This is the area where we have to be responsible. It's the area of, the, of life where we are most responsible. Yet for most people abandon their responsibilities. They go commenting on things outside other people's behavior, trying to straighten other people out, without really looking back at what they're doing. Yet other people's behavior, that's their karma. Your karma is what you're doing right now. So keep your focus right here and as close to right here as you can. And the more consistent it is, the more you'll be able to see things that have been driving the mind but keep hidden behind many layers of inattention, many layers of ignorance. You have to peel those layers away. And it's your persistence that's going to do it. So on the days when you feel like meditating, you meditate. When the days you don't feel like meditating, you keep meditating. Because that feeling that you don't feel like meditating, that's something you've got to look into. There's a lot of interesting things to be found there. So days when the meditation is good, Keep with it. When the meditation doesn't go so well, keep, keep at it, because there's something to be learned in each case.